Hello everyone and welcome to this video where we are going to play around with the fishing nets, see if we can add them to the RSV Atoll and kind of understand how they work. Now this is a boat owned by Oma. It has been worked on by me sort of for this fishing update, but I will I may make um, other versions that are intended for other uses. The purpose again of this boat, if you haven't caught on or read on my Discord server, it is a fisheries boat intended for researching and analyzing fish specimen. So what you'll do is you'll collect fish and then see if they are poisoned, healthy, you know, pollution or anything like that. Now how you use it is up to you, so you could obviously use it to f fish and commercial fish, but I'm just giving you the lore of this little boat. It was also a lot of fun to make, I do really like the size, the shape, and kind of the ability of it. So you'll see that as we go along with the build. Now in here is where I assume I'm going to make my fish net, and above it we have this large crane, of course that all needs work. Um, but the framework is here. There's a ton of logic in this boat and a lot of uh, features in the bridge. But our primary concern right now is the fishing side of things. One thing that I found quite interesting is this net anchor has um, one main point here. But then it has... But you have to actually put four of them in order for it to work. As I showed in the other video, you have to connect all four of them. I personally would have found it a little more interesting um, in terms of the, the uh, in terms of the building of the nets if there was one main part like this, and then you'd connect it to other sort of portions like this to create the net down here, and then this top part is what you'd attach to the winch, so it would almost function as a net. But I do see the purpose of this; it is a little more of a modular style build where you can actually have the freedom to put whatever you want on there. Now I will start off by mirroring my connectors here just like you see here and then we'll put the net. The one thing I don't know is what's the top and what is the bottom of this thing. To be honest I think the part where the rope note comes out of should be on the bottom so the net hangs from the bottom of that not from the top to top so i will rotate these around but you see the general gist will look like this and then of course it has to have some kind of connection up to the crane above i did a couple more tweaks here added this cable connector which will be attached to the crane and the reason why i want cable is because i want the little control station here or crane controller to be able to dump out of this so obviously what we could do is just put a simple button here on this and it will communicate with this and tell it to release catch but I want to make it a little fancier than that so it'll be controlled by up there and it'll have to work with a microcontroller but before we do that I will connect the rope nodes for this net anchor so that is pretty much all that is needed and then up here, this will obviously be attached to the crane, but we need to have the microcontroller now. So we'll start off with the empty one that I usually work with. And it has to have a few things. So it has retract, extend, release catch, and obviously the um, composite. So it'll be a 4x4 four four or 1x4. Inside the microcontroller, fishnet, sure, I'll call it that. And I will add now a couple of nodes and they will be the extend, retract, net, and release net. And with these ones, now the last thing needed is the composite. Now it'll have to be a composite input, so this will be cable anchor. And a very simple microcontroller here. So whatever this is, we'll control these and we set the channel. Just like this. So I will do lo logically for me, retract. So extend can be the first or retract, extend and release. So one, two and three. Very simple on this end. We'll have to copy it 
on the ship side of things. So, one, two, and three. Now, just to visually make it look better, because I don't want a 4x4 little clunky thing on this, I will make it a 1x5, because that will actually fit on the creation. So I could actually do something like this and have it kind of hanging out there. And then I could even, you know, do whatever to make it look visually nicer anything like that but the point is at least now it's sort of concealed within that um, fishing net part of course it has to be connected so extend extend retract retract and release release so now everything is connected there and the last one is this for the composite now since we do have an extra node i could do something like for example put a light on this so it's easier at nighttime to see where my fishing net is. That could be something that looks good. Alternatively, I could have, you know, some other type of feature, but I think light is a good idea. Very quickly, I added light and set it to be composite four. So now we have the light added and I'll be able to control it however I want with my little control center there. So there we have it. That is what I intend to use for the actual um, net itself. Last but not least, I connect this to the light for electricity. And then I spawned this instrument panel here and gave it the right channel. So retract net is one, dump net is three, extend net is two, and net light is four. And we'll give it electricity, obviously. So we'll have to put it on the um, electronic systems and this can be plugged directly into whatever is put on this crane so if we have this on the crane here as such the instrument panel can plug directly into that and this will connect directly to this everything needs to be connected to the electricity and then when I spawn that on, let's take a look and see what it is we've done. So, net light, that's good. Then dump net, you can see on this, it says release catch true. And then we can also change the net, as you can see doing there. So it does seem to be working as far as the microcontroller. That has to be put up there, and then the crane has to be adjusted so it can operate and deploy the net. For this particular ship, one thing that I'm struggling with, or kind of making do with, is the s how small the bridge is here. So we have a very restricted amount of space, and I would like a display here for, for the seat here, but we'll see if that's even possible. I kind of made do with removing the top layer of glass here, and instead we're going to put a little control panel. So this will be all up there, and it will be able to kind of operate the crane and operate the system that will ultimately uh, function for for this um, fishing net. So that is sort of a little compromise. It doesn't look too bad. And it will have a camera here on this portion so we could watch the fishing net. And in as well as, well as this one that we already did, I'm going to make a new one here that will be to deploy the to start the crane, to turn on the display and, you know, unlock this and all that good stuff. Very simple microcontroller here for the hopper to get us the input, to unlock the crane, unlock the fishing let, turn on the uh, crane camera. And that controller right down there will be attached now to that instrument panel that I just developed up here. And will function to give us information on how full the hopper is because that's obviously important if you're operating that little stand you'll want to know what is happening and then of course the crane camera so we can have that turn on here and of course we have to get the feed from the camera we will want to give everything electrical power with the exception of the display that i'm going to actually put on my other circuit 
that has a relay. So if you step out of the room, that displays off just to prevent lag, something I developed. Okay, and last but not least, now we have to connect the this one here, unlock fishnet, to these ones here. So release, 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 release. Okay, now right now the way my crane is, is there is no um, locking feature, so it's not actually locked in place. Um, I will add that though, but let's give this a test first. One big flaw is that even if I were to pick this up, using this would not actually pick up this, it would only move it. So I do need to have a winch here, so that is sort of a mandatory add-on. And that winch will be controlled by my seat and all that good stuff. So I will put this winch just like that. And then I could finish this off by making it look all nice. Like this. But then, that winch now has to not only receive power, but it has to get the composite channel from here across it into whatever it is connected to, which would be that cable anchor point there. So that is number one. And then second, I need to have a system to control the winch. So that can be done here with hotkey one and hotkey two. So hotkey one can be to up and hotkey or hotkey one is up, hotkey two is down. So that's one thing. Second, I'll want to use my A and D to move this around. And of course, the slider speed is something else that can be done. So I have to make a microcontroller to connect and operate that. A few behind the scenes adjustments. Now I can move this with W and S, as you can see. My winch is now controlled by my arrow keys, which is much nicer than using one and two. And then we can also rotate. Now this is something that I have to kind of fiddle with the sensitivity and speed, but the idea is there. So now if we release or unlock the fishing net and reel this in, we can actually pop it over the side here and then wheel that out. And in the meantime, inside my hull, in the fuel tank actually, there should be a series of counterweights that you see right here that are balancing out the boat and preventing it from tipping excessively. So that's perfect. And then I could drop this. So down it goes into the water. Now, in addition to that, turn on our display, that's fine. I could also extend the net. So look at that. The net's being extended, so now it's much bigger. And there you have it. So that is a working system for this vessel to be able to fish. Now I would like to catch some fish with this net to give it a test, so off we are with the net kind of hanging off the side. Not the best spot for it, but we'll see. I should also, I suppose, lower this even further down, because maybe you can actually catch fish while we're moving. So that's one thing. And then in addition to that, what I may want to do is turn the speed down a little bit. You can see here, it is quite a fast little boat. I may need to use some gearing to adjust the uh, top speed and make it be able to like kind of roll very slowly through the water, almost using like a trawling motor or a secondary motor maybe, maybe the solution instead of using the main power here. So I'll take a look at that, but you can see here, the net is deployed and it's kind of working. Now, what if I stop here? That sinks. Perfect. Also, all this yellow stuff is just places that are free of um, microcontrollers. The rest of the hull is full of microcontrollers, so that's just a little note to myself. The final version will not have that yellow. Anyways, now we can wait and see what happens in our fishing net. To make the most use of this new update, I think you'll have to start a new game because you can now see that there's actually default fish survey. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I start a new game before testing out the rest of the ship and how it kind of functions. 
in the fishing village, there's a fishing data vendor. And it's like in the community center or hospital, whatever this building is. But you see that it looks like a fish, kind of cute. And if you press this, it will be buying new locations. And this map here shows you where that location is. So since I'm in free mode, I can just buy to my heart's desire. But if we go to the map here, I've been buying a lot of them, by the way. Look at that. So it shows you a good amount of fish. Now there's some that are close to land and most of them are far so you kind of have to travel to get to the various areas which makes sense. I'm going to see if I can get myself to one of these fish spots and catch some fish. We're approaching the snook hot spot and you can see here just my various little cameras so we see what's going on around us. I'm using the autopilot. The control is up here for the keyboard, so it's not perfect or ideal, but it does more or less get the point across. And then, of course, we still have sonar, we got LiDAR, and all kinds of really neat stuff here. So, if we go to the CCTV, let's see what is beneath us. Alright. And here underneath the water, you could see that we got a good amount of these fish. So we indeed are here in the snook hot spot. Now I can reposition my vessel. And ideally deploy the net and see what happens. All right, on the net seat, let's activate crane, unlock this, raise the winch and throw this overboard. Then we can drop that. And adjust the net itself to be a little bigger. Now I can keep dropping this. It seems that they are at a bit of a deeper depth. So we'll see, I may have to put a bigger winch, but with this current setup, this is where we're able to go down to. Now totally, I could have a dial here that tells me how many, how de deep the net is, because right now it's just overboard, I have no feeling for where it is. Um, of course, that could just be using the winch's own kind of information. But it's way down there now, almost on the seafloor very close to and it's still going down so it seems that this medium winch is enough for uh, most applications of course this isn't a huge trawler I don't want to have massive winches it's not that large it's for smaller kind of research type of um, fishing but regardless you could see here there's fish swimming around so we'll hopefully connect a few what I'm almost thinking, in addition to this camera that just kind of shows where the net is, I may want to put a camera on the actual net itself and kind of watch the fish around the net itself. I'm trying this approach now where I tow this. Maybe I can get some fish that way. Oh. But of course, I fear that this boat is too fast right now. Actually, I do have the ability to do this and it'll be using our little propellers here for our maneuver mode. So I turn maneuver mode on and then if I press the up arrow, it will move at a very slow speed. So you can see that. That's kind of what I intend to fish with because now the net is not as, like you don't pull it as much and you can kind of feather the up arrow and have that happen. I actually made a bunch of changes based off my little test, including putting a little trawling motor down at the bottom, and I'll show you how that works. And I did a very good test for the actual net. So one thing is, this net is pretty small. Obviously the boat is small, so the net can't be huge. But I didn't want to limit myself and have a small net, so I actually put pivots on this net. I don't know if you can't tell, but the idea is that when you activate the crane 
lift this off and move it out here check this out if I press this button it expands now it starts to spin around because that net is kind of being too tight so you can extend the net and it'll stop spinning so there you have it we've increased the size of the net by a good amount thus giving us a bigger net to work with and then we can lower it and all that good stuff into the water and make sure that it kind of functions so you can see that is happening down there in addition to this net check this out we have our trolling motor so if i turn that up that little motor down there starts to move us at a very slow speed something like five knots so eight knots oh no three knots right there in yellow very slowly so it lets us kind of cover some ground and not only that but from this point of view here sitting in the seat you can actually steer so that trolling motor is on a pivot and you could actually rotate it thus getting some kind of steering going so it does let it does help to be able to um, operate the boat from this point of view as well especially if you're trying to have a one-man show so we have that now down there and if I keep lowering this it will start to go down and you can see the size of the net is fairly good there now it seems that not everything expanded but it is a proof of concept idea here first and foremost and you can see that that has worked and this is functioning properly there we go i was able to get it even bigger so that is a respectable size net for about this size and of course if you press this it will contract and make it a small small net but again open it and you got yourself something pretty big now extending it will make it stop glitching so you'll have to extend it in order to get it to work properly but you could see now that kind of works back for a practical test here we are at the fishing grounds and now we'll see how all this setup functions we'll deploy the fishing net i also made it when you press this button it automatically also expands the net itself so it kind of does a dual purpose there you go you don't have to press extend net it automatically does it and once it's uh, stopped glitching that means it's uh, good to go so now you see that how much bigger it is it's three times the size of the first test and now we can turn on our camera if we so desire but the idea is that we can drop this down so that's the number th number one thing we can drop this down and see if we get any fish I also did add a little dial up here so you could see exactly how deep it is. It does go 40 meters in length, but we'll just stop here at 11. So you can see it's right down there. And then if we turn on our little trawling motor, we'll start to make a little bit of headway. You pretty much have to put out 100% and you'll still get like three knots. So you get to do something like this. And of course now also you could steer, so you can find a way to steer. So everything can be done from this seat as you kind of go about your business and fish. So because we have a bigger net I'm hoping we actually can get some fish this time. Another feature I added is if you press 1 you actually cycle the camera into the net. So you could see the net or you could see from the crane. So you can kind of cycle through those two cameras there. The fish seem to be very scared of the net, so they're kind of running away from it, which is a little unfortunate. I'd like to see the um, interaction where the fish maybe make their way to the net, though I don't know how realistic it is. Um, obviously, when you fish with a fishing rod, you have, like, bait. But in this case, I don't know, I don't know if fishermen do something with the nets or not but again because there's not a huge density of fish I would like to see them maybe become attracted to the nets want to explore it or you could like 
do something with the net to kind of encourage them to want to come and take a bite. I don't know. Because I'm not saying we have to be catching millions and millions of fish, but it is a little discouraging to not catch a single fish. There could also be different tactics to it, maybe different speeds or different arrangements of the net. So I'm not going to say that this is um, me knowing everything. It's just um, a preliminary test. Obviously, maybe large, very large fishing trawlers with massive nets are what's needed. Maybe this net is just too small. Um, but regardless, I would like to see us catch at least one fish in here. It works! We got a fish. So, you see the fish in the net, which is really neat. Um, what I did is I just set the boat on autopilot, kind of running a circular course and left it while I did some house chores and came back and we have a fish. So that is awesome and that actually makes me happy because then we could use this camera to potentially see if we have fish. So we're not having to use kind of a third person view. And now I just want to test off putting this into into this um hopper here. So I would recommend making the net small and then retracting it and then once it's fully retracted it'll probably make the most sense to then put it over the hopper okay retracted and then we can go over the hopper oh you see the fish there too that's awesome i retracted it too much it seems that it created that kind of phantom physics and this is a little ah, i mean there you have it that's pretty much over the hopper so you can't quite see because of this post here, but that is fine. And then if I release, it should have dropped into the hopper here. So if I go down the stairs, take a look, hopefully we have at least one. And we do. So it works. Proof of concept is proven. And this boat will be on the workshop soon if it's not already. So I can't wait to see all of your guys' fishing adventures. Just to show you kind of what happened with the boat, we ended up finishing the interior here. All the systems now should be working. We got the cameras. We got ourselves even a ballast tank as well as an active stabilization system. And then if we head on downstairs, well here you see this with our little trolling motor. Got a little seating area here. And downstairs, in here, there's a little like kind of area to get ready, get cleaned up and whatnot. Our heater is here. Over here we have our research lab, so of course you can test out to see what, how the fish are doing and whatever, that's what you do here. There is a little stateroom. And here is our kitchenette and little seating area with the TV, so kind of crew quarters. Now I do have access into the bridge from here so if it's super stormy you may not want to go around but of course you'd be stuck using the ladder and down here the engine room is quite compact but here you could see our our four uh, medium engines and here we have breakers and some repair equipment so that is a little tour of the boat very happy with how that turned out and very happy with how this ship turned out so it should be out soon if not already can't wait to see the comments and what you all think of it as well as the update so let me know what you guys think um i was very excited to build this boat and super happy that it ended up being okay even with the net and the balance i was a little worried that maybe the system won't work because it's such a small scale boat but here we are and i really like how it turned out so thank you all for watching stay tuned for more content stay tuned for more creations and as always happy storm everyone